Hi everyone, Giuliano here. OpenAI is an American artificial intelligence research laboratory which provides several AI services, just to mention one of the most popular, ChatGPT. Maybe it sounds familiar to you. In this video, I'll show you how Microsoft is collaborating with OpenAI to bring the power of AI in Power Automate. Moreover, I'll show you how to implement the power of ChatGPT in Power Platform. Let's get started. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. What I have here is just a normal question in this Teams channel, what is a solution architect? And here through Power Automate Flow, I have the answer. This answer comes directly from ChatGPT. This is an example of integration of ChatGPT AI in Microsoft Teams. Of course, you can use Power Apps or any other front-end application that you want and use Power Automate as a backend that consume the API coming from ChatGPT and then send back the response to the front end. This is exactly this case. This kind of implementation is pretty easy to do with Power Platform. Now, let's start to create a new, a new conversation here. What I'm gonna do is paste it a question that I have, what should I consider to make a nice PowerPoint presentation? Posting this question will trigger my Power Automate flow that will consume the ChatGPT API, the OpenAI API, and then as a result, I will get the response that you will normally get using the ChatGPT interface on the website. And here we go, I have the response. Keep it simple, use a limited number of slides and keep the content concise. Use visuals, use a constant design, use transition. You can ask whatever you want. And this is a very nice implementation that you could put in place using Power Platform, for example. Now I'll show you step-by-step step how you can implement such of demonstration, such of process directly in Microsoft Teams. Feel free to use Power Apps or SharePoint Framework, any other kind of front-end or application which will be useful to reach your goal. Before to deep dive into this implementation, I would like to show you improvements made by Microsoft in Power Automate using ChatGPT and OpenAI more in general. Here I am now in make.powerautomate.com. Before to start, you have to be sure that you have an environment created and localized in USA. So this means that if you want to enjoy the preview of this AI improvement in Power Automate, you need to create an environment targeting USA as a location. I have already done this and I created this new environment called Preview. This now will give me the chance to create a new Power Automate flow just describing the scenario. Pretty cool, right? So let's get started. I'm going to click on Create and now here there is a new option available, Describe it to design it. So if I click here, this is a new capability leveraging the artificial intelligence provided by OpenAI. Now here I can describe my scenario. So, for example, here we go, I added this description, get data from a SharePoint list and send an email to the user. Here I have, just below, suggested flow descriptions that I can reuse if I want. But let me, let me use this description, I'm going to confirm this description. And now, I have as a trigger a recurrence, as a, as a action, I have get items for each and then send an email. Pretty, pretty cool. So I have already some actions inside of this flow. I don't need to start from scratch. I can describe my scenario and AI will help to build a template of my, a potential template of my flow. Here I can show a different suggestion. For example, if this, it, it doesn't really fit my scenario. Here, for example, I have like a plus, a condition, but if I click, Again, this is not really what I want. I will train the AI in the future to provide a better suggestion. 
Now, if I click on next, I can start using this flow and I have as a trigger a recurrence and then as an actions, I will have these four steps. Pretty, pretty cool. This is the new implementation provided by Microsoft, the new integration using AI in Power Automate. Now, let's start to show you how you can build the integration that we have seen at the beginning of this demonstration. Let me close this tab and let me open here another browser instance that I have. Here I am logged as a service user. This is my service user that I use normally to orchestrate all my Power Automate flow. Now, let's start from scratch and let's create on a new flow. Here I'm going to target the automated cloud flow and let's select a title here AI suggestion for example then I'm going to select and filter teams because as a trigger I want to trigger my flow every time that a new channel message is added this is the one that I want let's click on create and now I can start to build my flow so I will use an existing channel that I have in my team so feel free to to recreate your dedicated team and then your channel if you want but I will use this one that I already have in team I will target my IT team and then I will target the channel AI now let's click on the button new step because what I need to do is getting the result and the detail of the message I need to search always the connector of Microsoft Teams and here I have now select the action get message detail now in the message here selecting the dynamic value here I can grab the message ID this comes from the previous step the message type is a channel and now I should have additional fields coming here we go I have the IT as a team and as a channel AI with my fancy emoji the parent message this is needed to reply properly to the to the question let's filter for parent and this is the ID that I need ID of the parent message of the thread now as a next step I'm going to filter for the HTTP connector I remember you this is the premium connector so if you don't have the proper license here then you have to opt for the logic apps as a method I'm going to target post and now let's see where you can grab the URL the headers and the body in order to consume the OpenAI API here I have another browser instance and let's target in the URL field openai.com now that I am here let's click on API and then you have to log in or you have to register if you have not done yet now let me authenticate with my Google account and here I will be automatically redirect to this website now in order to play with the API all I need to do is jump on the documentation and here under the API reference I can click on the introduction and just below there is the requesting organization and here I have an example how to consume the API and how to get the suggestion coming from ChatGPT now to consume the API you can notice that you need a better token and where you can get this on the upper right corner you can see your profile picture you have to click on it and then click on view API keys here I'm going to generate a new API let me copy this one now that I have copied I can use this key in my next requests so let's jump back on documentation and if I scroll down under introduction I can then start to see the, the example and then here in the making requests it's more easy I can copy all this content which is pretty useful I have my secret already started so in order to don't lose this 
in the clipboard. I'm going to reopen now my Power Automate flow. And here I'm going as adder to type better. And now I added my secret. Going back, I have to add in the header the authorization. Now my header is good to go. Speaking about the header, let's finish with this and let me go with the second one, which is the content type. I'm going to post a JSON. Then I have to set the proper content type. Now let's go back to the URL. So here I can grab the end point that I'm going to consume. And then in the body, what I need is this guy here. So I can copy this thing. Let's go back. And that's my body. Here I have this model and the prompt. It is exactly the message that comes from team from the previous step. So here I can filter for plain text. I want to send the plain text context provided in, uh, in Teams, in the Teams channel post here. We have several additional uh, attributes in this JSON payload. I have the model. Let me go back here. And if I click on model, you can see that there are several uh, different models. Just to show you immediately this thing, let me go on, uh, on this thing, on the get started. Here there is the introduction and key concepts. Here you can get more insights about models which one is, is the best for you. Here you have all information related to the models. And then the tokens. The tokens is, let's say, the length of your message that you can send to the API. As we have seen before, I have this max token to seven. It's not enough because I want to write probably longer questions with many characters. Then I need to increase this number of max tokens. Temperature I will leave on zero. This is the accuracy of the suggestion. It's a number that start from zero to two. So you have to select the, the right range that works better for you. And that's it. From a, an HTTP post request perspective, this is done. Now I can move with the next step. When I deal with HTTP requests in Power Automate, I always love the fact to play with parse JSON action coming from the data operation connector. This helps, helps me every time that I need to reuse the attributes and the response coming from the HTTP request. Now here as a content, I'm going to select body that comes from the previous HTTP post request. And now in the schema, luckily I already have something here. This is a previous response coming from the question. And here I have the suggestion coming from ChatGPT. I can reuse this response as a sample. Now if I click on done, I have now my schema created. So it's time to provide an answer in the Teams channel. So let me select a new action here and let me filter for Microsoft Teams. Let's select Microsoft Teams connector. And now I can filter for reply with a message in a channel. I'm going to use the flow bot in a channel. The message ID, this comes from the previous step, message ID. The team is the IT team and the channel is the AI channel. All right, now as a message, I'm going to set text, which is the result of my request. And it is exactly the suggestion that ChatGPT will send back to me. All right, from a Power Automate flow perspective, it's, it's done. So let me just to be sure that the Power Automate flow is activated, is turned on. It's time to play again with this 
channel in the in the team in Microsoft Teams. So let me open here Microsoft Teams and it's time to make a new conversation. Let's click on new conversation and let me add my question. What are the key aspects to create a good marketing plan? This is pretty generic, but let's submit this question and let's wait now some seconds or some minutes for a response coming from ChatGPT. Here we go. I got my response from ChatGPT after three minutes, more or less. This is the time. You can find a description on the website of OpenAI where explained that they are working to improve the infrastructure that at the time it's getting a lot of requests across the world. All right, now that I have my answer here, we have seen how to integrate ChatGPT and the power of open provided by OpenAI of the artificial intelligence directly in Microsoft Teams. But this is up to you how you prefer to implement this thing, if in Teams, if in Power Apps as a normal chat, or as a SharePoint framework solution integrated in a SharePoint in your intranet website or in any other place. But we have seen how you can easily consume the OpenAI API to get suggestions coming from AI. All right, we have seen in this video an AI implementation in Power Platform. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, and add a comment down below. Just let me know what do you think about this feature. All right, I hope to see you next time.